Murphy needs to stop posting pics of her food. We get it, Liz. You're vegan. I don't know. I was thinking of trying it. Not me. I like to eat what I want, when I want. Isn't that how you get fat? Too many calories is how you get fat. I never go over 1,200. Ever. Sick? I need that. What's that called? Countdown to skinny. It's so good. It totally works. Okay, are we not playing the game anymore? <laughs> is it this one? No. That's weird. What is that? If you could know exactly when you were going to die, would you want to know? That's creepy. That's literally all it says. Awesome. Ooh, okay, new game. Let's all download it, and whoever is going to die first has to finish all the drinks on the table. I'm in. All right, I'm so down. Yes, I'm out. I'm not messing with that. Don't be such a little biatch. It's just an app. Is this app? Mm-hmm. Second. Everybody ready? Yes, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I got 63 years. Oh, <laughs> mine says 32. Ooh. Oh, that's 22 years. Yolo. <laughs> what do you say, Court? Court. Um, it says I only have three hours to live. You're gonna die! Oh. You oh. Drink up! Uh, Evan! Get over here! What? We downloaded an app that tells us when we're gonna die and. Look at your girlfriends! Why would you download that? I don't know, we all were. You better not kill my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Drink up, Court! Yeah. You Whoa. lost! Yeah. You did lose a bet, so you got a drink! These are all cool, are you kidding me? I got you, babe. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that! Oh. Shivery's not dead. Uh, uh, yeah. Babe, <laughs> you can't drive. You're wasted. No, I drive way better when I'm drunk. It's not funny. I'm kidding. Let's just watch my house. Oh my god. Please don't tell me you're so worried about that stupid app. Baby, <sighs> I swear I'm not gonna kill you. I know. <laughs> Come on, let's leave the car here. I hate when you do this. <sighs> okay, you know what? Fine. I'll walk by myself. Courtney. Courtney, come on. Courtney, come on. I'm fine. Get in the car. Please don't do this. I told you I'm walking. Fine. Whatever. <laughs>
Quinn. Quinn, can you take over the side? Oh, sorry. Don't worry. She's one of our best interns. Hey, told you you can't keep coming in here. There's asbestos and lead and God knows what. Uh, just one more minute, please. Okay, fine. Just one minute. Just so you know, something in here kills me. I am hunting you. It's normal to be nervous. Surgery can be scary, but you're going to be fine, I promise. It's not that. I mean, it, it is that, but forget it. I think I'm a psycho. Ooh, now you have to tell me. You can't just dangle the word psycho and not tell me. I don't get it. Snap, that tells you when you're gonna die. Dude, seriously? I know. I said the same thing. I didn't knew we were gonna crash. Wait, there was someone else in the car with you? No, she didn't get in. Um, because that app said she was gonna die in nine minutes, and nine minutes later I crashed my car and a tree branch went through her seat. So, you feel like she would have died, but she didn't, right? What does that tell you about your app? She did die. She died that same night. It knew, all right? It was right about her, and, and now it's saying that I'm gonna die during that surgery, <laughs> so. Listen to me. You're smart enough to know that this app was made by some loser in his parents' basement trying to scare people. Come on. Your minute's up. Ugh, Evan, if I told you that's off limits, you can't keep going back there. He knows. He just needed a minute to himself. Uh-huh. Follow me. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> we heard you passed your test. You're officially one of us. One of us. One okay. of us. Okay. Freaks. You're a freak. Oh my God. Thank you. You earned it. Is that slice number three? Yep. So you want diabetes then? And my grandfather drank two cases of Coke a week and he lived to 94, so I'm good. You know, there's an app for that, in case you want to know for sure. Did the kid in 237 show you that too? Why would anyone want to know when they're going to die? I want to know. What's it called? Countdown, I think. I don't think God intends us to know that. No, well, God has a plan for all of us. It's not really our place to question when. Thank you. It's not natural. Oh, shit. We're only going to make it to 87. Cut Rob, kid. I'm going to send it to you guys. Oh, I don't want that on my phone. 57 years. That'll make me 96, 97, 98. That's bullshit, is it? I ran six miles this morning. How many did you run? Zero. And I'm still going to make it to 87, so... I win. Uh. <laughs> help! Pity, help! Hey, easy, easy. Back up, back up, back up. What did you take? I don't know. How long have you been like this? I, I don't know. Let's get two milligrams of Narcan. Quinn, grab me the OPR can. What is it? It's counteractive drugs. As long as she's not too far gone. Come on, baby. Hey, if you're going to do it, do it now. You got it. Come on, come on, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Easy, easy. Welcome back. We got cake for you. Hey, easy, easy.
You won't be needing the student badge anymore. There's Harris. Nice. So where do you want to continue the celebration tonight? Oh, I can't, Diane. I just really want to finish my paperwork. The rain check. Proud of you. Gotta hold you to that rain check. Hey, Scott, a um, quick question. I'm just trying to fill out my I-9. What do I do if I don't have a passport? Uh, just use your birth certificate. You have that, right? No, but I, I think I know where it is. Hey, can I call you back? Yeah, sure. Okay, bye. Jesus, Jordan! You scared the crap out of me. Shh, you're gonna wake dead. What the hell are you doing in a closet? <laughs> this is Joe. You wanna put a shirt on, Joe? Pretty much so. Yeah. Um, I think I should go. I think that's a good idea. It was really nice meeting you. You shouldn't have boys coming over. You can't tell me what to do. You're not mom. Yeah, well, if I was, you wouldn't even think about pulling this shit. What are you even doing here, Quinn? I had to come home to grab some stuff for work. Oh, and let me guess, now that you have it, you're leaving? See you in another six months then? Cool. Jordan. Jordan. Go away. I got some good news today. Officially a nurse. Good for you. Lame Is everything okay? It's fine. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't mean to wake you. Hey, come here. <laughs> you hungry? You want me to heat you something up? I'm okay. I'm actually headed out at a really early morning. Um, hey, if you have any time on Saturday, we're gonna go lay some fresh flowers up in your ma's grave. Um, okay. Sure. Sounds nice. All right, we'll pick you up Saturday. Okay. All right. Hi, Dad. Yeah, love you, sweetie. Love you. Hello? Okay, two-minute warning. So if you need to use the bathroom, use it now. You'll be surprised how many people say, oh, I'm good, and then it's clean up on aisle five. <laughs> You need any help? Oh, I got it. All right. I'll be right back. Freaking wedding. Hey, I'm at work. Okay, bye.
Courtney. Court. an accident. The patient died in the stairwell. They think he might have jumped. Who was that? The kid from 237. Evan? You okay? Yeah. Um, have they packed up his room yet? Hey, Rach. Nurse Amy needs to see you. She just told me to do this room. It's okay. I'll take care of it. She can see what she wants. Thanks. Hey, Quinny. Hey, Dad. So, um, you know, this thing on Saturday, I, uh, I checked at the hospital, and it turns out I do have to work. Oh, well, that's okay. You know, work's important. We can go another weekend, right? Yeah. In fact, this works out great. Your Uncle Doug, he's crewing up for a job upstate. Good overtime. We'll do it when I come back. Okay, thanks, Dad. Love you. I love you, too, Quinny. Bye. Bye. No personal calls when you're on the clock. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, Miss Thompson's IV drip stopped. Want to take a look? Of course. This poor lady's been in a coma for weeks. You no, know, it's sad. I think the IV pump just needs to be reset. Shit. You all right there, kiddo? Yeah. Actually, no. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Talk to me. No. What's the matter? What happened? It's nothing. I'm just having a bad day. I'm sorry. First day as an RN, and I'm already messing up. Hey, look at me. You are an incredible nurse, okay? You're smart. 
You're driven. Every time you walk into a patient's room, you, you make them smile. That's a gift. Okay. First days are hard. Let's get back to work. Quinn, can I ask you something? Sure. Remember that letter, the recommendation letter that you asked me to write for your license? Yeah. I gushed about you. I really want to kiss you right now. Oh, I don't think that's appropriate. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. Look, I don't want this little cake for a secret. I mean, you like to help people, right? Maybe we can help each other. I'm really not comfortable. No, I said no! Get off of me! Stop it! Jesus Christ, Queen. What the hell is wrong with you? I mean, come on, I, I see the way you look at me. What are you, some kind of tease? Sorry, I, um, I thought that was, that was really unprofessional. I, I apologize, okay? Just, let's just get back to work, okay? Hey, Nurse Amy. Yes, Quinn. Can I talk to you for a sec? Uh, Amy, I need an updated vitals check on Mrs. Klein. Okay, I'll be right there in a sec. This is important. Nurse Amy, now, please. Quinn, can we talk about this some other time? Okay, you guys, this countdown app thing, I'm starting to hear things and see things. Like last night, I saw my cousin who died in April. I saw him and he started talking to me. I know it's real and it's toying with me and it's playing with me. And it's like, it's like, it's playing this game of cat and mouse and I can feel it. And it's like, it's feeding off of my fears. My time is up. <laughs> Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Thank you.
Jordan, hang on. Wait a second. I can't believe you got that freaked out by a cockroach. Where is it? In the kitchen? Oh my god. What the hell did you do to your phone? Oh, I, um... I dropped it. From where? A plane? You have a notification from something called Countdown. It says you only have one day left. One day until what? Nothing. Okay. Why are you acting so weird? Why aren't you in school? Dad went on his work trip, and since it's your fault I'm stuck being babysat by Mrs. Talbot, I thought I could stay here. Oh, Jordan, now is not a good time. If you could know exactly when you're going to die, would you want to know? Oh my god, is that why you've been acting like such a freak show? Because an app told you you're going to have one day to live? No, it's fake. Obviously. Well, I want to know. Don't. What is your problem? I'm sorry you're stuck with Mrs. Talbot, but you can't stay here. Mom, I never asked for anything. I told you, it's just, it's not a good time. God, ever since Mom died, you've really sucked in a big sister department. Don't do that. Don't try to make me feel bad to get what you want. Just so you know, whatever you thought Joe and I were doing the other night, we're definitely going to be doing it tonight. <laughs> Next. My phone just quit working. Oh, I can't imagine why. You always put it down with such grace? What do we use it for primarily? Mostly just texting and Facebook. You have more computing power in your pocket than NASA did when they put a man on the moon. But you use it for mostly texting and Facebook. This is why humanity's doomed. Okay, you know what? I don't need your smug tech guy attitude. Uh -huh. Where's your manager? Let me go get him. Just yeah, go right, get him. Hold on. Hello, I'm the manager. Something I can help you with, miss? You just lost yourself a customer, smartass. Oh, I did? Mm -hmm. Do you think I'll be able to find another one or next? I need a new phone. Okay, what kind of specs are you looking for? These actually just came in. Yeah, sure, that one. Okay. Uh, if you could just wait while I run the car. All right, Never mind. I trust you. Something in your eyes says you're a normal, completely sane person. Need me to transfer a SIM card over? No, I want all new, everything, new phone, new number, new service. Okay. Now, off the books, for 100 cash, I can jailbreak it. You can have every app you'll ever need. No, I just, I want it however it comes. Okay. There you go. Good. Anything else I can help you with? No. Okay. Next. What the hell is this? What? This app. Why is it on there? It's weird. Did you buy it? When could I have done that? You literally just turned it on. Okay. Deep breath. Um, you just delete it. Here. It won't let you delete it. Just give it to me. All right, we're on Yelp, Doc's Wireless. Please leave a review, appreciate it. Hey, what app was she talking about? <sighs> Watch where you're going. Sorry. Stupid, bitch. Are you an idiot? Look what you did to my Lexus! Hey, I'm talking to you! Hey! Hey! Let her go! What the hell are you gonna do about it? Oh, what am I gonna do about it? Well, you can leave and nobody gets hurt. Or, 
you can stick around and find out that I'm all sorts of crazy. And I mean the type of crazy where I just found out I'm gonna die and maybe I feel like taking a white man with me. So the choice is yours. I really don't give a damn. Well, relax, man, it was just, just a fender bender. Jesus. You okay? You're seeing stuff too, aren't you? So am I. What I want to know is why us? Uh, because we downloaded it. No, that's not it. Other people download it and they find they're living to be a hundred. You told me I violated the user agreement. Wait, you know, it said the same thing to me. Did you read it? Yeah, terms and conditions. Every word. Really? No. You want to buy a ticket to Antarctica? Hmm? Well, you can't. Because only the government and the Illuminati have access to Antarctica. See? The sons of bitches! Okay, what, what if we go somewhere else? No, it's okay. There's nowhere to go back and read it. I think that there's got to be something there that could tell us. You people need to wake up. Because if we go there, we'll be able to see that Antarctica is the edge of the flat Earth. I guess anything's possible, Jerry. What if there's a way for us to look at that user agreement again and track with me? What if we got someone to download it just so we could see the terms and you don't accept it? No, that is wrong. Trust me. Hey, uh, question for you guys. Have uh, any of you heard about this new app that tells you when you're going to die? Sounds like bullshit. Or maybe that's just what they want you to think. Anyway, it's called Countdown. I don't feel good about this. It's fake, like the Holocaust, huh? Never mind. Go ahead. Thank you. Camera, microphone, location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. User agreement, accept terms and conditions. No, wait, no, no, wait, no, no. wait, wait. Are you crazy? You should never accept the terms and conditions without reading them first. Okay. User shall use the application. Yada, yada, yada. User shall accept the terms of his or her fate. Any attempt to use information derived from Countdown to alter the user's fate will result in a breach of this agreement. Accept the terms of our fate. Hang on. I was supposed to take a train tomorrow to go see my aunt, but the app said that's when I was going to die, so I canceled it. I canceled something too, a trip with my sister and my dad. Maybe this, this is when I was supposed to actually die. Jared, don't agree to that. Trust me, you don't want to know. So no matter what we do, we're going to be dead in a couple hours. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like old Jer Bear's going to live to be 91. Figures. Let's go. I love this app. Whatever is happening to us, we think it's because of this app. From what I've read online about hauntings, there are spirits and then there are demons. But I don't know, that's why I wanted to talk to an expert. Yeah, I mean, it seems like demon stuff to me. Well, when we talk about demons, we're usually speaking metaphorically. Wait, wait, wait a minute, so you don't think demons are real? I'm sorry, but no. Look, this stuff, it's, it's not really what I do. But, but I know someone might be a little better uh, Qualified. Hey, Quinn. Can I talk to you for a second? Oh, right. I wanted to talk to you about yesterday. Uh, give me two minutes. Yeah. Great. Guys, I have all the time in the world. Now I'm talking to myself. Uh, yeah, hey, this one's taken. Oh, buddy, I said this one's taken. Use another. Hey, kid, use another stall.
You okay in there? Hey, buddy, do you want me to get you some help? You all right? Jeez. You're good. You're good. You're good. Wow. I haven't worked here that long, and then Dr. Sullivan has this, like, integral. Go ahead and have a seat. Okay. This is Dave Andrews from HR. Emily, our hospital administrator. And you know Dr. Sullivan. Dr. Sullivan told us what happened. He did? Yes, Quinn. I felt <clears throat> obligated to come clean and tell them the truth. This doesn't have to destroy anyone's life, right? It was a simple misunderstanding, that's all. I'm sorry. Thank you. But you cornering me in my office like that, that wasn't okay. It needs to be addressed. I cornered you? <laughs> you don't need to be embarrassed. I'm just trying to stop something before it escalates, that's all. Today's world of he said, she said, you can't be too cautious. I have to protect myself and my practice and the hospital. Based on Dr. Sullivan's report, I've recommended an immediate suspension. What? Is that necessary? Can't we just do counseling or transfer? I don't believe this. He is the one who cornered me. <laughs> what, I don't get a say in this? Quinn, if this is true, why don't you just come to me right away? I tried, but that asshole beat me to it. We are trying to help you. Hey, don't make it worse, by my Don't touch me. She seems like a very unstable young woman. We're leaving. Matt, come on. What's up with you? Nothing. service out here? Yeah, will you show a little bit of respect? Jesus. Shit. Shh. Do you hear that? Hey, Bellini, don't you be a me. Thought you wanted me to go. Why you trying to keep me thingy? Hello. Hi. Oh, hallelujah. I'm starving. You guys got my grub hub? No, we, um... No, we just have to ask you a question. Do you believe in demons? Big time. Look, I know how hard this is to believe. No, 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 no. No, I mean, yes, it's hard to believe, but I want it to be true. I mean, I don't want you guys to, of course, but demons, woo! I mean, that's kind of what got me into the cloth in the first place. 
Do you know demons are mentioned in 19 of the 27 books of the Bible? Oh yeah, the Gadarene swine, the Simon Magnus, the Apocrypha. I'm sorry, I don't need to be like geeking out on you. Just, ah! I love this stuff. I mean, the Bible is like the ultimate graphic novel. You know, this whole thing reminds me of this old story from... Amen. Amen. Uh, yes. So there was this young prince whose father, a much beloved king, was old, like brink of death old. With the king in such bad shape, it was up to the prince to lead the army into battle. So he tracks down this old gypsy woman and he asks her if she can tell him, will he survive the battle? The gypsy woman hands him a scroll with a number on it. And that number is the exact moment of his death. But she warns him. Don't use this to save yourself, to change your fate. Now, the prince agrees, opens up the scroll. News ain't good, like not even a little bit. So you know what he does? Come here. He sends his little brother instead, but his brother doesn't die. In fact, he goes on to lead the army to victory. Meanwhile, our coward prince goes back to the old gypsy woman and he swears to her, the angel of death is coming for me. But she assures him, death, is not coming for him. What's coming for him now, there's nothing natural about it. It's the demon, Ozen. The moment the prince changed his fate, Ozen came for him, but not to kill him, to torment him, right up until the exact moment the gypsy predicted he would die. Oh, oh thanks, Father. I didn't think I could feel any worse. Look, I think, I mean, I'm not sure, but this app seems like a modern version of what the old gypsy lady did. I don't know, if I could just see the code, I, I would think I would know for sure. You mean like hack the app? Do you know how to do that? Or do you guys know someone who could? I think I might. Where the heck's my Grubhub? Hey, wait, wait. We are closed. We met earlier and you said that you could jailbreak my phone. Does that mean you know how to hack into an app? Yeah. Oh, great. Look, we need your help. It's kind of an emergency. Sorry. Already running late to my Tinder date, and I haven't matched with anybody in a while, so... No. Wait, 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 wait. You really want to impress this girl? This credit card has a $2,000 limit. Yeah. And uh, this one has about 300 left. If you help us, these are yours. Please. This feels illegal. I like it. Yeah, sorry. It's just gonna be, I don't know, 15 minutes, okay? I love your profile pic. Okay, bye-bye. All right, you got 15 minutes, phone. It's this app right here. Seriously, the countdown app where it tells you when you're gonna die is so dumb. Did you download it? Of course, your hysteria piqued my interest. It's a great idea, it's this horrible execution. I mean, just a random number with a countdown? It's not very scary, though. It seems like it worked on YouTube clowns. <clears throat> please, please, just continue. Okay, thanks. That's weird. 60 gigs? What does that mean? It means it's big, like a season of Game of Thrones on your phone big, which doesn't make any sense because it's just a clock. Well, can you still delete it? Of course. This is Doc's, I'm the Doc of technology. I can do anything. Ah! Check it out. Now we're in. What is that? Hypnotic time tip. That's Latin. Are you sure? Went to Catholic high school for four years, I'm sure. Great, what's it say? No idea. Physically I was there, but mentally. Oh my God. Last name, first name, and look, these are their countdowns. There are so many. Hey, that's me. 32 years, 11 days. Hold on. How long do you guys think the uh, Marvel Universe will last? 40 years? 50? Let's just say 60, you know, to be sure. There it is. Holy shit, it's working. Look at his phone. It works. <laughs> okay. What's your name, Pumpkin? Quinn Harris. Stop. That's my sister. Shit. Of course she downloaded it. Our clock is the same as mine. Actually, no. Hers is three minutes shorter. See? Wait a minute. Was 
she's supposed to be with you tomorrow. Oh, shit. Change hers first. Get another credit card? Okay. No, no, no. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm a good guy. I'll do it. I'll do it. You know the rules. No phones at the table. But I was... You can have it back. In the morning. I was just looking. Thank you. You're a genius. Yeah, no shit. You still good? Yep. I got 71 years left. You know, I kind of feel bad that I'm going to outlive you. <laughs> Don't. 95 is way too old. I'm happy with my 86. So should I uh, drop you at your car? Yeah, yeah, sure. Except for the fact that my car's right over there. <laughs> I uh, suppose I'll call you. <laughs> nice, real nice. Do you want to be alone tonight? Not at all. Do you mind if I keep these lights on? Not at all. <sighs> I've been thinking a lot about what Father John said, about what compelled us to want to know when we're going to die. Me too. And? Um. When I was 10, my, uh, my little brother Jeff got really sick. And we practically lived at the hospital. My, my mom and dad, they could only focus on Jeff for those two years, and I get it. But at the same time, I was jealous of all the attention that he was getting. He got this toy that I really wanted. <laughs> this stupid robot dinosaur. So when he was asleep, I took it. I stole my dying brother's toy. Jeff, he looked up to me. And I'm the one that gets to live to be 95. Yeah, but you were just a kid. What about you? Hmm? My mom. She was the glue in our family. But she was tough. And on one of the many nights I was grounded, my best friend was having this huge party, and I was so sick of my mom's shit. So I went. My mom. She went out looking for me. And one drunk driver later, she was dead. When that's not your fault. <sighs> yeah. Thanks. No, you don't have to sleep on the floor. All right, but just so we're clear, I don't usually jump in the bed with girls that I just met off of an app. Well, technically we met because of an app. Good point.
Yo, are you calling my name? Relax, relax. Hey, hey. It was just a nightmare. It went back to what it was. Oh, shit. So did mine. Oh, no. Jordan. Mrs. Talbot? This curse will come upon you, will pursue you and overwhelm you until you are utterly destroyed. This is good. This is like really good. How is that good? Because now we know what we're dealing with. This is a curse. Curses come from the devil and his servants. Good news, curses can be broken. Can I get a hallelujah high five? Fine. 
Look, gang, Satan is the father of lies. If you can prove him a liar, you can break the curse. What does that mean, prove him a liar? If you can foil the clock, prove it wrong, it should lift the curse from anyone suffering from it. So someone has to die before they're supposed to? That would get the job done. But I don't think anybody here wants to die, right? So I'm thinking the opposite. We need to keep one of you alive longer than you're supposed to be. Uh, how are we supposed to do that? I mean, this thing shows up and we're just supposed to be like, hang on, I need a sec. That's exactly what we're gonna do. See, there's protection rituals, prayers, that should buy you some time. All we need to do is beat the clock by one second. Have you ever done anything like this before? No, but I've read about it a lot. Here, 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 got it, got it, got it, got it. Look, we need to make this out of salt, right? Now, once I bless it, you should be safe inside. See, no impure spirits are allowed to cross the circle. It should buy you the time you need. Great. Well, I just have one question. Where are we going to get that much salt? I get mine at Costco. Follow me. Come on. Clock's ticking, everybody. Come on. All right, let me just turn the lights on. Good, all right, come on. Now this is rock salt. I use it to kill weeds. Will that work? Salt is salt. Once I bless it, we're good, I think. What? No, we're fine. We're gonna be fine. What if it just blows the salt away? That could absolutely happen. I didn't think of that. God damn it. Sorry. And I will pray it doesn't. I have an idea. Oh, wait, here. Hold this. A little small, don't you think? It's not the size of the cross, it's the power of the spirit. What if we mix it with this? That is a genius idea. Yes, okay, let's clear out the space right here. Great, come on. Clock's ticking, guys. I'm gonna make a big circle. 10, 15 feet, come on. You good? Great, okay. All right, gang, here we go. Thicker, thicker. Lord, bless the sauce. Let your light hold back the demons. Just try to enter our world, Lord. That's it. Make that symbol perfect. Make the symbol perfect. Make that as thick as you can. As thick as you can. That line right there. Pretty great. I mean, it's more of an oval than a circle, but we're in a lot of pressure. Okay, how much time till Matt dies? Okay, that symbol's good. That symbol's good. Okay, that's right. Correct? I got this. Hey. What if this doesn't work? It's going to. No, but what if it doesn't? It doesn't I mean, it's, it's, it's sawed and bent. That's good. Uh, I think we should get in a circle. I'm scared. Me too. Okay, this way. That's what actually we have to do right now. I'm gonna go with the bigger cross. What? Oh. It's in here. Stay close. Please strengthen us. In your power and might, O oh Lord. Dress us in your armor, Lord, so that we may stand firm against the machinations of the devil. Wait, it's moving above us. Do you see anything? No. You? No.
where is it, Matt? Jeffy. Oh, I'd shake my dinosaur. Jeffy, I was gonna give it back, I swear. No, you weren't. You're right. Jeffy, I'm sorry. Since it was his time. Pretty soon it'll be our time too. Please don't say that. I don't want to, but you just saw what happened. Oh my god. Oh, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. We need some help in here. We need a wheelchair. Quinn, what happened? It was an accident. She has a puncture to the abdomen. Okay, we got her. We got her right in. Go check in with Rosie. No, please, please, could you leave me? I'm not going anywhere. I will be right there. Please, 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 please. Sorry, honey, are you okay? That's straight. That's not too bad. You're pretty tough, though, right? Quinn, hey, can I talk to you? I really, I heard what happened with Dr. Sullivan. I know what happened. I mean, I personally know. I just want you to know that if you go after him, I'm with you. I think you're gonna be A-OK, -okay. what do you mean? Thank you. Truly, thank you, Rachel. All right. <laughs> it's like your big sister. I'll let you two at it. You're being good hands, kiddo. Thank you. Of course. Are you okay? Is it her? Quinn. I know you think it was your fault, Mom dying. It was my fault. What? Mom asked me where you were, and I knew. And if I had just told her, she wouldn't have been driving way over by the mall. Jordan, it is not your fault some drunk asshole ran a red light. But it's not your fault either. I think we would be happier spending our last few minutes together. These are not our last few minutes. Wait, Quinn. Trust me. Quinn, what are you gonna do? Quinn! No, I just finished my schedule. Saving lives one day at a time. <laughs> hey, honey, I'll let you get back to work. I love you too. Shouldn't be in here. I wanted to thank you for helping my sister and say that I'm sorry. For what? 
for everything. I can't stop thinking about how things could have gone that day. I mean, I understand why you did, but you did. I put you in that position. If only I'd followed through with how I really felt in that moment. I was just scared. Bullshit. <laughs> you think I'm stupid? <laughs> what do you really want? I want my job back. You said we both like helping people. So maybe you can help me. And I can help you. Okay, how are you doing? Uh, recording this? Search me if you want. I'll be in the closed wing. You should come. Or don't, it's up to you. Quinn? Quinn? Come find me. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't see this one coming. Drop something. Close your eyes and say, Marco. Ooh. <laughs> I like this. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. I can hear you breathing. Ah! Bitch! What the hell is that? Morphine! Enough to kill you three times, you piece of shit! I don't! It's either him or you. Ah! Did you see that? It saved him. This is gonna work. Oh, it's gonna work. He has the app. If he dies before he's supposed to, it'll break the curse! Win! Crazy bitch! What the hell was that thing, huh? 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 Doesn't matter. I tell the cops how you lured me back here. How I had to kill you out of self-defense. <laughs> Your time's up, you rapey fuck!
Not in control anymore. I am. Thank you. 
paper table. They're beautiful. Oh my gosh. Three more women came forward about Dr. Sullivan. Looks like he's going away for a long time. Good. Serves him right. I'm just glad no one else is going to get hurt. Coming to the house, Quinny? I have to stop at the hospital first. You want to come with me? Yeah. All right. I'll see you guys at home. Cool. You coming? What's wrong? 